Hello and welcome to another one of our videos. We're here today to solve another puzzle game and this time it is The Deceit from Puzzle Post, an escape room in the envelope. We had a lot of success with the last escape room we solved, didn't we? We Laura? did, in the envelope form. I can't remember what the name of it was, but it was something to do with a band and mysterious oh, yes, members was, going rogue. It? Yeah. Yeah. And we got very excited about <laughs> it and thought it was going to go really well and then it went mildly well and then it went really well. Yeah, so... no, it was quite a success. So we're not sure how we're going to do with this one, but we'll find out mm. soon enough, won't we? So here we go. Here's the game. Should we open it? Yeah, let's go for it. Right. So we know at some point we're probably going to need a website for this because we will be looking for different numbered codes, probably from 1 to 100 to put in. So let's see the story. Okay. Abigail Reams, one of New York's up-and-coming celebrity chefs, has stumbled across what looks like one of her employees trying to swindle her out of thousands of dollars. Ooh. Her bank manager is called. She seems to be in all sorts of trouble and needs your help to sort out the mess. Solve all nine puzzles, there we go, and break into the online vault to work out exactly what is going on. Mm. And so there's clues online, yeah. and you have to work together to solve the puzzles and enter the passcode into the vault. So let's see what's inside the envelope. Let's have a look. So what I like about these is that you get all sorts of different bits of ephemera with these puzzles, and I love a bit of ephemera, partly because I like the word ephemera. Oh, saw something inside the envelope. Mm. There we go. Anything else? Nope, that's Final it. Final check? Okay, all good. And I think it says, there we go, proof. I think it says that we get two copies of everything. Is that right? I don't know about that. It said on the back Did that it? we get two copies of everything. And don't read too much into it. It's just so there's enough for everyone. So what we will do... Oh, yeah. There are two does. copies of each puzzle. <laughs> You're right. So what we will do is make sure that half of those things are put to one side. OK, well, there we go. We've sorted out all the bits of paper. Mm. We looked through. We turned out we had um, two copies of everything, three copies of some of them, and four copies of quite a few of them. Just to add a bit of drama so we've just the been, first bit. Yeah, we've been checking through, <laughs> making sure what's unique. For example, these are checks here. There are, in fact, three different ones. They've got different, four different ones. They've got different yeah. check numbers. But we had two of each of these, and we had four of some of the other bits and pieces. And anyway, we did find this bit of paper, which is start here. So, so we're going to start here. Oh, my goodness. It's oh, hand, wow. handwritten. Oh, my goodness. Do you want to read it out? <laughs> my dearest friends, I know it's been a while since we last spoke, but I've been terribly busy with my new book, tour and TV show. But enough about my success. I'm writing because I need you to save me from ruin. Dot, dot, dot. Dramatic. So much, not so much success then. No. Earlier this week, I was in makeup for my new show and I got a call from the bank. Ooh. They said I was at the end of my overdraft and that some sort of takeout order was being rejected. Well... Can you imagine my horror? Me ordering takeout? It's pretty shocking. Drama, absolute drama. I logged into my account and all my cash was drained days ago. The bank said that all transactions are final and that the investigations may take weeks. So I took matters into my hands and ran back to the office to search for clues. This is where I found an unusual upload on my laptop to a password protected vault. I don't know what files have been taken, but it must be planned to blackmail me. One of my team must have done this. They can be awful. <laughs> Brutal. You can access the vault at www.puzzlepost.com slash the vault and use the... ID code that we're not going to show you. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the passcode is made up of nine parts, each a number between one and 100. Oh, you were correct then. Mm. I found a whole load of stuff on the desk that must be clues to the passcode. I need you to solve the puzzles, break into the vault and send me what's inside. I'm terrified of what it could be. My business card looks like a good place to start. Please, please help. Abigail, kiss, kiss. <laughs> yes, yeah, so if you get stuck, there's some clues that, on the website. And that's blank on the back, so let's get rid of that. Okay. And let's bring up that website Let's then. find the website. Okay, we've now opened the website, and we've got a bunch of numbers we can enter here, where I can click and change them, and then I can see if that's right or wrong, and it's part two. Wrong. That is wrong. Imagine if that was right. That would be this is a, totally a, bit, of a guess. bit of a spoiler, wouldn't it, Quite actually? Quite spooky, yeah. yeah, it would a little bit. So, right. there's nothing left to do. No. She said, start with my business card. Okay, let's have a look at that, So though. let's have a look at that. Yeah. Where is it? Is she Abigail Abigail Reams? I think she is Abigail Reams. She's really into her knives. She is, but she's a chef. Oh, oh okay. Abigail, Hell. 625 10th Avenue, New York, and a bunch of addresses. 122 West 4th Street, Los Angeles. Level 2, Dubai Marina Mall, Dubai. Did you got three different addresses or three hotels? Not hotels, uh, restaurants, maybe? So as always, we're going to need, I say as always, we've done one of these before. Mm. You're going to need, we're going to need um, a number from naught to 99 mm. for each of these, uh, each of these entries we're going to put in. Um, so this, I don't see immediately how it's a number unless it's like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine knives or something. There's a number of like dots and holes in them. Mm -hmm. uh, what else have we got? Also, I don't know what, how we'd know what puzzle number it is because there's puzzles from one to nine. Well, she said start with the start with the business card, which is why we started with that. We've got a lot of numbers on here. Yes. 
But I don't know if we've got a map or anything elsewhere. I don't know if that links Let's to something else. Let's have a quick look at all the bits of paper. Let's have got. a look at what else we've got. So when got. we did one of these before, we, what we found was that each type of resource solved to one of the nine, or however many there were, puzzles. Mm. And, only, and then there was an extra sheet which helped you assign each puzzle to mm -hmm. the correct one of the puzzle numbers on that, on that little thin there from one to nine. Um, so we've got a DuPont skincare. Uh, cut sheet, That's, there we go. Bank uh, on the back, so a flyer type thing. I've got a call sheet for Abigail at mm. home. Hello there, food PR. Um, which has got some stuff on the back as well. Yeah. And then we've got a bunch of checks for them, in fact. Made paid out to different people for different amounts of money. From in the her. same handwriting as oh, we've got a note on the back. Where else have you seen this handwriting? Oh, funny, I was going to say, and that's the handwriting from the note that we've just had. Is it? Yeah. So is the suggestion that that that's actually her handwriting? Is this it here? The T's. How are the T's? Yes, it's sort of similar, isn't it? But the A's aren't the same, actually. Oh, they're, oh, they're different. There's an there's an A there that's different to this A here in Jackson. It's actually true. That A is. Um, a regular A, if you like, and this is a stylized A. But actually, you have them. We've got a uh, non stylized <laughs> and a stylized. So that's maybe not the best marker of, yeah. uh, of so, telling the difference. Okay, so, so I, think I think largely that's the same handwriting, I would yeah, say. Well, no, I think this is meant to be her handwriting. Where else have you seen this handwriting? That's what I mean. But I think the handwriting on the other side is not the same handwriting. Oh, I disagree. I think it is the same. Looks different to me. That's a completely different style of handwriting to this. This is this is cursed. So? This, yeah, this is this is joined up, and these letters are separate in a completely different way. Hundred is joined up though. Well, okay. To me, it looks completely different. Interesting. Let's have a look at some other stuff as yeah, well. Yeah, You might be right. I might be right. One of the two, one of us is right. That's for sure. Or neither of us is right. Well, it's going to be either her or not her writing. <laughs> that's so, true. Actually, so sure that is a binary option. Um, and then okay. we've got because oh, an actual email address here. Don't we meant to email that? Oh, don't know. I mean, I guess we probably are. Let's find out. Uh, no worries, I'm sure I can work it out. There's an email there with a bunch of food places and a map Ooh, of locations. different places to go to. Yeah. We had something similar on the previous envelope escape room, didn't we, where we were moving between different Oh, and it traced out numbers. Points. Yeah. yeah. I was, my first thought then was that might give us an order for stuff. Mm, yeah, I haven't seen anything that really looks like an order. And we've got a wrapper of Abigail at home. Oh, we've Tomato got something fun on this barcode here. That oh, looks yeah, like look. a clue, doesn't it? Does it say something? something? I thought it was going to spell a message. It may be does in the middle, but I'm not entirely convinced. Mm. Sodium. Oh, hang on. Match it up with the other side. Yeah, there it says is, sodium. But you've also got... Okay. There you go. Sodium. It does say sodium, and I would imagine that there's an amount next to the sodium in that nutrition facts. It does say uh, sodium. Yeah, it just says sodium. So whatever sodium is on there, which is 15, I imagine that this links to... 15. 15% yeah, sodium. Yeah, the answer to whatever the puzzle this is is 15. But we don't know what the puzzle is yet. No. That's part of the fun. Okay. Okay. And Intriguing. Then we've got a page from a script. Oh, yeah. It's a double sided note. No. With some notes. Abigail at That's home. A there, That's look. a different handwriting there. That's a different handwriting. Chloe, you're going to have to help Abigail with this one. It looks like A equals Z and C equals X with her. Okay, so that's a, that's um, uh, what do you call it? Is that a Caesar Pash? code? A no, Caesar. it's that Pash cipher. You reverse the alphabet. A equals Z. Oh yeah, right, you are. Yeah, C is just shift. This is an inversion. C. That's true. So A, so B is Y, for example. Yeah. Um, and then here, version one, Abigail to practice, and there's a knife. Version one, there and is a knife. And this is Beth's copy. So presumably this is Beth's handwriting. This is Beth's handwriting. Probably a coincidence, but this isn't a A. This is a B. And this is a C. I suspect ah, that's... No, I don't think that will be a coincidence. Oh, OK, maybe. Abigail at home pilot. Autumn morning cooking. There we go. Intriguing. Then we've got your consolidated statement for mm. Abigail R. Reams. Um, mm. It's blank on the back. Summary of her accounts. Is this show all the money coming out? Yeah, so we've got... Yeah, your previous of... balance, 170,000. Other withdrawals, 169,799. Oh, that's quite a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. And yes. then... And even though she seems to be British, oh no, this is an American. This is an American address, but all the other, some of the other stuff is British. I mean, it's an autumn way. You can also add a partner oh, yeah, to your account. Point. Something to your account today. Use an app. Why is that blocked out? I don't know. I presume it said add someone to your account yeah. today. Use an app. Oh, add number. Oh, we're meant to infer the missing things. Yes, possibly. So account number. Add someone to your account. Checks. Checks. Something in a reference? Reference. Add, add number reference. 
So add. presumably you added number of references. Where are the number yeah. of references? Here's all the references. Yeah. If we add all those, lots of those. Yeah, if we add all those, it's going to be mm. a very big number. All transactions trans are final. We had a note that said all transactions are final from the bank Do in we? that first letter. Yeah. So if we had add number of reference final. So we're adding so the last add, digit. Yeah. Okay, so we've solved this puzzle, I Great. think. Great. So we've solved two puzzles so far, but yeah, we, we don't, just don't know, know where to, we just don't yet know where, where to, to put, put them, them into this um, into this thing on the screen there. Okay, maybe this beautifully illustrated whatever this is. Proof. Abigail at home, restaurant mm. quality food in your kitchen. Maybe this will tell us magically. Abigail Reams. There's another one of these there knives. We've knife. seen a lot of these knives. Yeah. Maybe the are knives are oh, the knives are in order in. The knives are in ordering. Yes, the knives yes. are in ordering. That's the point of this. This card is not solving to a number. Well done. This card is telling us which which puzzle is which solution. Right. That's okay. the point. So look. Pun. Let's go to the one we. Which one do we say we solved? There are knives on this everything. This one here. Yeah. Let's Sodium go to that is 15 one. Okay. And then and we've got a knife, knife here. here. It's a big cleaver type one. So the and cleaver that is. It looks like the last one actually because it's got. No, it's this one. Yeah, with two dots on the handles. But if you look, there's a line that's very close to that. It's actually quite hard to see on camera. Should we zoom in? Uh, I agree. No, no, I agree with you. You can zoom in if you Just, want. There we go. There's sort of two lines quite close yes, to each this other is there. This the last one, isn't yeah. it? So, and we think it's 15. Right, okay. Oh, well done. Oh, there we go. So we mm. think if we put 15 in here... And it will just be correct, right? And we say reveal the message. No! Oh, come on, that has to be right. Are there actually nine knives? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, sodium... It does say sodium, right? And sodium is 15%. Is that, yeah. Are there other things that Unless we need to... Unless it's 15% of the serving size. Hmm. Let's read what it says on this, because it might give us more clues. Abigail has always been a fan of good pasta sauce, something where the amount of each ingredient is just right to the milligram. Oh, so we need something measured in milligrams. Okay. Yeah. For her, the key is always to establish the starting point. It's not always easy to find, but once she knows, she knows. So we want a percentage. Of how much it weighs. So it's 565 grams, and we want 15% of that. Yeah. Which is 56.5 plus half of 56.5. Well, you know what we do now. That's not going to be a whole number, is it? Hey Siri, what's 15% <laughs> of 565 grams? It's 84.75. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem right, does it? Um, the key's just right to the milligram. Wait, mm. it says to the milligram. Yeah. And this is in grams. Do we need to work out what, how many milligrams of, soda, of, of sodium there are? So serving size... It's 113 grams. Are we mm. supposed to be working out 15% of 113? Well, what about 540 oh. milligrams? For example, this includes 540 as a total... Hang on. This is quite confusing. This is really confusing. 540 milligrams of sodium is a total recommended daily value. Oh, it's 15% of your daily allowance of sodium. We didn't, weren't reading this properly. OK, yeah. I'm just idiots. It's not 15% of the weight. You just got too excited. Yeah. That's not a problem. So we take 15% of 540. That sounds like it's Which gonna is going to be a nice number, isn't a it? A two-digit number. So what is that? Well, it's 27 plus 54, which is uh, 81, right? Yeah. So let's try that. Anyone who's seen our videos before will know that I am not. You can't go around the bottom. You have to go up all the way the up. mental maths gal. So much clicking. 81, 81. revealed the message. Yay! Hey, we have a tip there here. we go. Okay, great. Okay, it's one puzzle, one puzzle down. in the bag. Yep. Okay, We've... and we solved another one somewhere, didn't we? The bank oh, statement. The bank... Oh, sorry. Sorry, the bank statement. Bank statement with the numbers. And we so... worked out we need to add up the final digits, right? Yeah. So that's 10, 12, 15, 18, 23, 24, 29, 38, right? So 38. Sure. And that's for. Where's the. Where's ah, the we've chopper? got a knife up here. I don't oh, you can see right. that. There we go. Yeah. So which, which knife is that? I would say number four. No, I would say number one, two, three, four, five, six. They are quite similar. You they know, are. This one? Six. Yeah. Okay. Well, what was that number that. I just gave you? I, I don't remember. Let's add them up again. I want to say something like, but not necessarily 38. Let's try that again. Let's just try 38. I don't think that's what you said. No. Um, 10, 12, 15, 18, 23, 24, 29, 38. I did say 38. You did say 38. It's not number six then. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it does look like number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're looking at this picture here. Hmm. It is this one, one, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 
Yeah, for sure, it's that one. OK. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just read it again. So we're assuming that these blanked out bits say add. Number. Reference, reference. Because it matches here. Yeah, and then final. all transactions are final. Add number reference final. So here. Are there other references? There's references here as well. Nah, it says, it says up here they reference number and description, so it's got to be that. Yeah. So we add the four digit numbers and take the final. That's the a lot of adding. Mm. Are there other numbers on the back? No, it's totally blank on the back. I really feel like that should be right. Mm. Okay, let's have a read because when we thought we'd sold it last time, we hadn't actually read everything on the sheet of paper. So let's try and just read this text up here. So if we read this out, it says, do more with digital banking, bank without having to leave home, check your account balance, make transfers, pay bills and deposit checks with your mobile device. If you are not enrolled in digital banking, it only takes a minute to get started today. You can also add a partner to your account, eligible to add any approved individual with a Sentosa bank account. Eligible to add. It's just giving us the word add, I think. Add someone to your account today using our app. Yeah, but I wonder if they're if that's trying to say there's only certain transactions that you can add to it. No, okay, fine. I don't think so. Summary of your accounts, bright banking, total checking, da 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 da, lots of numbers. There's nothing in that text that makes me think there's something that we're meant to be doing. Account name, account there's clearly account number. Mm. There's nothing else on the page which is relevant to that, I don't think. Unless there's other references for it to be adding, but it clearly says reference number here. Mm. Bright banking, account summary, mm. previous balance, checks, and we think because it says reference addendum two, we should be reference addendum one. So it's mm. reference again here. It must be reference. So we've it got add be. number reference. And then we have reference numbers here. Mm. Um, and then in our letter that we got first time around, it said, the bank has said all transactions are final. Where was that? That was in our introduction letter. So it says up here, the bank said that all transactions are final. Yeah. Okay. Which is, it can't says, be a coincidence, uh, yeah. No, it's giving you the word final as a fact, oh, isn't no. it? No, I really thought we it had it there. page one of five. I know, but we definitely don't have any other pages like no, that. No, and it would be a shame to be adding up like, millions of things. Mm. Well, I can, I can try adding up the full number. I was going to see if the wrong. checks are something to do with it, but they've got a different knife on them, which makes me think they're part of a different puzzle. They've yeah. all got the same different knife, as you can see at the bottom. So I think it's probably not that. OK, well, let's come back to that. Mm. Let's skip this for now. Maybe okay. it'll be obvious when we return. Oh! Shall so we have a look at the checks let's look at while the checks. we're here? Let's check it out. OK. Let's check it out. Also, I noted that Czech is spelt the American way on that bank statement. Oh, but that's because it's an American well, bank statement. Well, it's America. She's got three addresses. Mm. She's got Abu Dhabi, New York, and where was the other address? Los Angeles, Los I think. Angeles. So well, there's, there's no British address then. No, there is no British address, but maybe she's a British person. Ah, we didn't look at... We haven't looked at everything yet. We haven't looked at everything yet. No. Let's have a look at these. Right. So it says, Christopher Jack... Well, it was something about the handwriting. It does mention on the back of them, check the handwriting. We think mm. we know the handwriting is... I think that looks like Abigail's handwriting to me. We have got... So there are people who mentioned so We've got Ben and a Carol. Another B and another C. And we think this is... This is Beth's copy here. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't look like Beth's handwriting, does no. it? No. And it doesn't look like um, whoever the main woman is, Abigail. Well, you think it is. I, I think, think it, it does look like her handwriting. I don't think it looks like it at all. Well... Um, but it's supposed to be her handwriting, It's supposed isn't it? to be her handwriting. OK. So Are we... the numbers in different handwriting? Do we have numbers in other handwriting? These numbers here. Interesting that that's not dated. The rest will say 4th of April. Mm. So the check numbers are going up in tens. This is 471. Oh, is that mm -hmm. a bar on the end? It's just a bar on the end. So 40, so they're actually in this order then. 45 here, 46. I'll just overlap them. So unless those numbers at the top change, otherwise no. Maybe the numbers at the bottom change? Mm, probably. Actually, oh, no, they must be their account number. Yeah, but it should be a check number as well. It's not, it's not actually a check number there. Anyway, uh, we've got 45, 46, 47 and 48. So we do have an order in for those. And it seems the only this thing... This one... Oh, it does. You can't see it on camera. What? I was just looking at the, the four zeros at the top. They're all the same at the top, apart from the number, and actually mm -hmm. all the same at the bottom. And they've all got this cleaver on it. Mm -hmm. So the last one isn't dated, which is interesting. And they've got different numbers on 800, 700, 
Like that's 800. 800 again and 800 are mostly the same actually and they're all signed by they're Avery's. They're all signed and they look very similar, the signatures. And they're paid to, paid to Louise Barker, Emily Jackson, Christopher Jackson and Charlotte Lewis. Mm. And none of them are insane amounts of money. Mm. So how are we supposed to get um, a number from this? Very interesting. Does it say anything on them? Is there anything? There's, the only thing that's on the back of any of them is where have you seen... It's not on camera. It says... Where have you seen this handwriting? Where else have you seen this handwriting? So shall we look at... I think it's from the letter that she wrote us and I'm wondering if there's any, any clues in that that go back to it. OK, that makes sense. I'm looking at letter A's mainly. Well, the letter A's inconsistent on the checks anyway. But well, that's what I mean. If they're inconsistent on the checks but they're consistent here, then maybe it is something else. OK, so maybe it is that one check has different handwriting. So, for example, we did notice that the A is different in dollars on this one. Is it only different? And this one, A, A, this A is... These two A's are different to these two A's. These are both, like, the stylized A's. Yeah, but then in Jackson, there's no stylized A. But in Barker, there is. It's inconsistent. Yes. So there's, we've got two Jacksons here to compare. Yes. This is really confusing. Let's come back to that. <laughs> right, we haven't looked yet at this. This is a business card. It says, hello there. From Alia Williams, PR manager, food and media, hello there.work, which appears to be a website. Mm, perhaps we need to look on the perhaps website. Perhaps we need to go there. And there's a picture Ooh. of a camera and very hard to read text. It just says hello there and gives the same locations. Mm. Do you think we should go to that website? Yes, I do. Mm. OK, well, there we go. Mm. There's the website, hello there.work. And what does it say? Mm, hello there. We are a hello. Hello. Hello, you. Um, we are a digital marketing and PR agency that puts you at the front of your brand. We work with brands and organisations in the food and restaurant industry who are looking to grow, change or improve what they do and how they do it using creative thinking, strategy and great ideas. That is actually a very long sentence. It is. We combine deep digital advertising and experiential expertise, a strong heritage in PR and award-winning creativity to make it all happen. Is experiential a word? It probably is. It must be. Our work. Let's click Shall on we that. click? I, I, reckon, I think it's just going to scroll down, but I'll okay. click it anyway. Okay. We partnered with award winning chef Abigail Reams to grow her brand and reputation through social media. In mm. just one week, we transformed her Instagram profile, okay, <laughs> achieving increased engagement, following, and maximising potential reach through quality content. I noticed here these are UK spellings of the words like maximising and stuff. Oh, with right. an S. We have a tried and tested pattern here and we know it works. We know it works. Okay, so we've got some Instagram posts here that we can't enlarge in any way, but they seem to be from Chef Abigail Reams. I, mean, I can do that. It sort of worked. Uh, couldn't be prouder of what we've achieved here at Abigail. What a way to spend a Sunday. Chef Abigail Reams, my happy place. Okay. Um, no rest for the wicked, spending Saturday. So we, I don't know if maybe these days are going to be important. Spending Saturday catching up on the last week and making sure I have everything ready to smash my goals for the next week. And was there something in capital letters on the... I oh, know it was just Abigail. Well, it does say... Ab no, you're right. That is oddly in capitals. Yeah. It? Smash. Abigail smash. <laughs> and then here, Abigail. Mm. Mm. Never well, a dull moment here at Abigail preparing for a busy Friday night. If I'm not in the kitchen, I'm watching over those who are. Creepy. <laughs> Abigail, how to eat the rainbow. One, mm. two, three, four, five. I'm feeling a bit under the weather today, so hold up working on the chapters for my new book. I'm eating lots of colour to ensure I'm back to strength. ASAP. It's Friday tomorrow after all. We're giving away a free copy to every, whoever can guess what colour I'm wearing today. OK, intriguing. And we've got ASAP in all caps, but maybe I'm reading too much is into it. Is she wearing it. yellow? We've got day. She is wearing yellow in that. Do you think the answer's just four? Well, is she wearing different colours in the other... Is she wearing noticeably different... Right, coloured tops in the previous posts that match the colours of the book. There's quite a lot of posts. If you look at the colour of her apron... Yeah, this is Monday. Starting the week off strong on Monday, loving putting my apron on, love to all my adoring chefling... I can't read what that said. Fans. Well, that's actually the bottom of the web page. That's as well. the bottom. And then the next one says, really excited about what we're cooking this up this Tuesday. Tuesday. I love being in the kitchen. Does she have anything... In all caps in the first post, if you scroll right down to the bottom. No. No. I think we're just putting her shirt colours in. Do you think? Yeah. So that's... Well, are we adding them up or what? 
we could just add the shirt colours. So they're all the colours match, right? We've got blue, yellow, blue, that's not her. She's wearing this light blue all the time. She's well, wearing she's... two all the time, apart from four here. Hang on, if you look at the colour of her apron, which is, says, if you look on the Monday post, yeah. love, something, da, 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 love putting my apron on. So that's a red apron there. Ooh. Mm. And it matches this red. That's one. It matches this red here, doesn't it? And then if you look at two, she's wearing... Tuesday. A dark blue sort apron. Dark blue, so five. So should we add these up? Six. But then it doesn't really matter what order we add them up, does it? No, who said it did? Or do you think it's just the aprons? I, well, I've actually said the colours of the things and focus on the aprons if it is an apron. Six and that is ten, right? Yeah. And then here... The That's apron... five again. Yeah, or she's wearing a light blue top. Why has it told us just to look 15, at the aprons? And then yellow again. Nineteen. And then red again. Which is 20. Well, we have only way of rounding out if it's 20 or not, isn't there? And that's to put 20 in. So we've got this business card here with that knife. No, where's the knife? Sorry, I turned yeah, it over incorrectly. Right. Where's the other card? It's probably just under here. Here it is. So this yeah. is our guide for what order to put them in. So we've got. Can you see the knife like? there? Yeah. yeah. Mm, that looks like number five, I would say. Just here. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. I reckon 20 is a bit of a guess, but. No. I think it's to do with the aprons. Well, it could just be the colour of the yellow that she asked about, right? But she points, she says the word, love putting my apron on. That's what makes me think it's aprons. Will you humour me and try the numbers of the aprons? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so we've got a red one, a dark blue one. So that's one and five, right? Yeah, and then... Six. Yeah, and then another dark blue one. Is that, this, this is the five, right? Yeah. Eleven. Yeah. And then another red one. Twelve. Okay, twelve. It feels a bit random. Which one was this? This one we said was five. I did try twenty actually here, didn't I? Yes. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, let's try what just... What have we missed here then? I keep trying to scroll my recording screen One, two, rather than three, the actual four, website. Five. Is that giving us an order for something? It's just giving you a value. Is it the number the of likes? What about the number of likes on each post? Well, there's various things it could be, aren't there? Yeah. But what, in the actual text, it says, I'm back. It says, we're giving away a copy to you having guessed what colour I'm wearing today. And it says, it's Friday tomorrow. So maybe it's just asking for the colour she wore on Thursday. Um, so this is, we have to work out what the dates are. Does it have a date on it? Um, this is what we're cooking on Tuesday. Mm. So you would think that would be Wednesday. Yes, but then that would be... This would be Thursday. Is there a sequence to what she's wearing? Does she wear them in order? Red? Red, blue, yellow. No, there's no obvious sequence. No. <laughs> Let's just try one, two, three, four and five as answers and see if it's any of the individual colours. OK. Um, to brute force it. Yeah. Okay, one. one. It was oh. one. <laughs> so Hang on, so what would that have meant then? Let's have a look at those. Just red. This is one Monday she was wearing red. Mm-hmm. Tuesday she's wearing dark blue. Mystery day she's wearing... Unknown day she's wearing yellow. Mm hmm And then it says here, we're giving away a free copy. Do you have can guess what colour I'm wearing today? Maybe you meant to literally guess. That doesn't seem very satisfying. And then if it thinks it's red, blue, yellow. Is it just red, blue, yellow, red, blue, yellow? And then we're meant to just make... Well, it does go red, blue, yellow. Something Question mark, blue, blue yellow, yellow, red. Red, maybe you're supposed to just see a sequence. Yeah. Red, blue, yellow. OK, next puzzle. OK, interesting. I was a bit confused by giving us the numbers there. Well, that we... seemed like a bit of a red herring. But we can... Assume that that puzzle's done. So how many have we done solved. two we've so done far? Two, so not we've done two impressive. so far and we thought we'd solved some others, but we haven't. So we thought we'd solved the bank statements. Let's have a look at this. this. Should we zoom out? It is zoom times. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> Abigail at Home Pilot, mm. autumn morning cooking. Um, Page one, fade in. Should we have a read of this? Abigail voiceover. Today we'll be making my mother's famous omelette, or at least it will be famous after today. Omelettes are fantastic. They're cheap, they're flexible, and if we're honest, they absolutely don't get the credit, which is misspelled, they are due. Oh, why well, tell? Mm. Pencil. Let's have a pencil moment. So there's an R here. There is an R there. Okay, frying pan close up. Abigail continued. Looks delicious, right? 
interior kitchen early evening, a light airy gets two G's and Abigail. Yeah. A light airy kitchen with a large kitchen island laden with fresh produce. Abigail stands behind the island, a large window b -b behind her. Double B. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Abigail, right then, let's get cracking, smiles at camera. <laughs> you want a small to medium double M size pan. For this, personally, I use three eggs for an omelette. I'm wondering if we're looking at all the examples of double letters or just the ones that stick out. But what, let's come back to it. What do you mean it. by stick out? Ones that are incorrect. So there's two Gs in Abigail, for example, but there's also two Gs in omelette. Two Ts in omelette, I should say. So it might be that we're looking for all examples of double letters. Right. Let's find the ones that are irregular, anyway. Personally, I use three eggs for an omelette. Break them straight into your bowl. There's no need to mess around. Just get them straight in. Next, a pinch of salt and pepper. Don't hold back here. You want to be nice and generous with your pepper in particular. Slow motion shots of salt and pepper. Oh. Ends with mixing bowl. Mm. Is it? That's actually really hard to read. Um, now you might be thinking, what's so special about an omelette? And the key here is to maintain that soft, silky texture. Maintain. <laughs> Some people use milk and cream, but that is not for me. And it certainly wasn't for my mom. Was it? Mom before? I thought it was mum. Oh, it's mother's. Um, it's interesting this is a British script. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I like to keep mine relatively healthy, a great morning staple for the whole family. Abigail moves, double V, across the kitchen to collect the frying pan. Abigail, so let's get to cooking. We're missing an apostrophe. Yeah, <laughs> Can you tell we proofread for a living? We need a small to medium sized <laughs> frying pan for this. Ideally, something non stick. Let's. Need another apostrophe. Get it on a lowish heat to start us off. Okay, interesting. So what letters have we got so far? R, G, B, R, M, V. That's it. Yes. That makes me think oh, we've got a G at the beginning, actually. We missed this. No, Kitchen we weren't montage. actually looking Yeah, this. we weren't. Are there any others? Abigail at home pilot, also want to cook in. Abigail, so we make making one of the famous omelets. No, that's it. Hmm. Oh, there's an S in honest. Oh dear. Just just can't get the staff nowadays. G S. G S R G B R M V. Hmm. What happens if we find other do you think it's too much to go for all the other examples of double letters? I missed the M out as well. When I wrote this down. G B M R. Maybe it's just drawn attention to these words. What's the, what are the words? Montage, honest, credit, credit, Abigail, behind, medium, medium, pepper, maintain, moves. No. No, that doesn't sound like a secret message, does it? It's unbelievably oh, cryptic. There's an Abigail it? here as well. Abigail I. Oh, yeah. Oh, we've been terrible at this. <laughs> so it's actually. G S I R. Is it an anagram? Have we missed out other other vowels? I don't know. I'm looking for double letters where they're not meant to be. And then it says A equals Z, C equals X. Oh, of course. Yeah, well done. So let's. We read that. Before. <laughs> we did. So let's um, at bash that. Yeah. So you work it out in your head and I'll do it this way. Brilliant. So, uh, I did not allow enough space here. <laughs> so what we're doing is we're reversing the alphabet. Yep. So A equals Z, B equals Y and C equals X is the clue that they've given us. By here, goes, it's just which it. Yeah. Yes. So. So G. Is T. S is H. I, I is R. Ooh. I feel like that's going to be Maybe clear. I've missed something out. Oh, yeah, okay. R is I. Ooh. G is T. B, I may have missed, missed a letter out. It's going to be 30, but I won't, I've got those the long way round. I've obviously written those backwards. 30, yeah. and then B is Y. We've just done that one, I think. Okay. Then M. Is N. It's going to be 39. R is I. N. And V. And V is E. 
39. And Good. do we have a knife? Shall I put the eye in the wrong place then? The eye comes I did put the here. Eye in the yeah, wrong place. that's fine. Okay. So 39. So 39. And we've got a knife down here, which matches with a knife on our business card, which, which we can keep. Lost. It's quite a slippery customer, the business card. Ooh. Is this one? It's the fourth yeah, one. It is. Number four. Okay, come on. Number four. 39. I feel really good about this one. Although I do say that all the time. No, it's definitely right. Yes. There we go. Perfect. Nice. All right. Great. There's quite a lot we haven't looked at yet. There is. Okay. Leia Dupont, Dupont skincare. skincare. Try our brand new Remove Time Remove Corrective time. Serum. That feels like a clue, doesn't it? Doesn't it? $48, one fluid ounce. Dramatically evens the appearance of skin tone and is clinically shown to significantly improve skin brightness. Mmm. Features the first ever brightening breakthrough in our patent pending Remove Time complex. 95% mm. of women felt that the serum reversed damage to their skin. Active ingredients and then lots of names. Hyaluron hyaluronic acid, vitamin A, niacinamide, new watch verse clocky. Vers and oh, so this is a word we yeah, have to remove time I think from. So. Let's get a pen mm. and rewrite this word without time. So we've got any watch. So here is N E, then we've got watch, V E S, and then we've got That's clock. That's seven backwards for reference. So we take clock out. Okay, and we've got Y. And then is that T F I S? I think this is going to be 57 backwards. I think we take oh, that sundial. sundial out. Yeah. Then we got F. Gosh, that's hard to read. 57. So it's 57 backwards. Yay! And that is on. Well done. I think that's number two. I think it's number two as well. 57. Oh. Let's find out. Yay. Yeah. Okay, so well done, Leia. You're yes. done. Thank you, Leia. We can layer you aside. Okay. Let's have a look at this one. Do we think this goes with our business card or do we think this is something else? I think it's something else. Uh, call she Abigail at home, food PR. Mm. I think it's just thematically linked. Okay. Actually, yeah, we solved that one, didn't we? Yeah, that was there the were one colours the... and the locations could go with the location map. On the back of the email printout that we've got folded just here off screen. Oh. But soon it will be on screen. There we go. Okay. Abigail New York team group photo shoot includes team for restaurants to go inside sleeve of new cookbook Abigail at home. Shoot managed by Hello There PR, with photographer and crew supplied as agreed, and there's, a web, there's an email address we can email. Lovely. Um, okay. And there are six people, needs new headshots, include lifestyle, kitchen. Uh, Abigail gives an address, valet parking available, need to be out by lunchtime service, which will start approximately midday. Gives an address of a hotel. Transport between locations will be provided. Meters parking available outside hotel for those driving. Does it show meters on here? None of these seem to really. It may not connect with this. Match of with yeah, they don't really match with names on there. I feel like I've seen Badger and Fox somewhere, but I can't remember where. True, seven total. Zach B, D I T, lead for Tog, photo assistant. For more information, email that Alia. Oh, there we go. Don't forget to check your junk. So in other words, I might get a junk reply. Okay, well, let's send an email to Alia. Oh, fun. Okay, well, I've just emailed Alia and I've got a reply. Well, let's Ooh. rotate it. We've we just a... said, please help us, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, thanks for your email. I'm out of office today at a shoot with limited access to emails. If you are emailing with regard to the Salt account, please contact Louise. Interesting. If you're emailing with regard to the Abigail Reams account, please see below for photo shoot instructions. It's important to get everyone in the right order. Abigail needs to be centre stage. She needs a man on her right and probably Catherine to her left. And to balance out the respective heights. And also make sure that Colin and Issa aren't together. You've heard the rumours. Last thing, Fred doesn't need to be in the photo. We can deal with pastry separately. If you need anything else, drop me an email. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I bet you won't. Thanks, Alia. Interesting. What is the thing about heights? What's the thing about salt account? Um, Very interesting. Talent, need headshots. It doesn't have anything about heights, does it? No, and we need... To, is there anything on the back? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Special instructions requirements. In order to meet requirements for book, we need one group shot of the team. Line them up in a single row behind the big kitchen counter. Abigail in the middle. Let me take a key photo of just the two on her right. Her right, not the right when you look at the photo. OK, so we need to work out who's going to be on her right. Yes. And then... Camera department. I'm sure mm. you bring all equipment. Light will be provided at hotel, but not kitchen. And what's this to do with a salt account? 
There's this Salter's account. By the way, there's writing on the back of more than one of these checks. Oh, there is. Which is the checks we looked at before. It's actually, this one says, I'm getting so good at forgiving these and forging, forging these. these. It's hard to tell which is real. How did we not spot that before? I don't know. I feel we did look at the back of them. Very interesting. Did you just write that on there? Yeah, imagine. No, I didn't. I want to be clear about that. Um, okay. Right. Okay. So, there's an order that we need to have everyone in. She needs a man on her right, then probably Catherine to her left, then also make sure that Colin and Issa aren't together. Yes. But it then also says on the back, we only need three people in the picture. Yeah, and it says we need to take a key photo of just the two on her right. Oh, that's to select the two. That's so to select the two. If each person's got a number... Yeah. We put them in order, then we ch then this gives us the two we two we're using. Yeah. So we've got Catherine in the middle. Right. Okay. Should we write this should we down? Write this down. Yeah. So Catherine in the middle. No, sorry, not Catherine. Abigail in the middle. <laughs> Ignore me. Abigail in the middle. She needs a man on her right. A mystery man. So that's Fred. Roberta presumably is a. Oh, Colin. So there's two men, Colin and... Fred, although Fred's not involved. her right. Yeah. Who's not involved? It's so, later on she says, Fred doesn't need to be in the photo. So it's Colin. So it's Colin. So her right, if, we're, if this is us facing them here, like yeah. this, then Colin is on her right, yeah? Yeah. Gosh, that's confusing. Like CO for Colin, because there's also a CA Colin. for Catherine. Yeah, OK. Then right. probably Catherine to her left, so we can put Catherine on her left. OK, so that's CA. And make sure Colin and Issa aren't together. So Issa needs to go next to Catherine, I would imagine. Yes. And then Roberta is the only one that's left. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, so Roberta next to Colin. So then the two people to her right are Roberta and, and Colin. Colin. And Colin. I mean, the number for each of them. And they are seven. On the call sheet at the bottom. If you add them together. Oh, well, the, they've the got... The crew are relevant, right? I think that's what she said. Let's just take these numbers. Yeah. So Robert is Roberta is five and Colin is two. So it's fifty two, we think. Oh, I was gonna say seven. Why? Add them together. No, it's two digits. It says to take the two digits. Is that what it says? On the back, yeah. It says take the two. Why would you add them together when you just need a two digit number? Oh I don't know. Well, okay. But why would it be twenty five also? Because it tells you what order to read them in. It says take a photo of them. So okay. if you took the photo of the two to her right, they'd be in the order five two. Okay. As you look at the picture. Okay. Um, well, we'll soon find out if I'm right. Yeah. Where's that business card again? Here it is. Oh, with the knives. Where's the knife? Where's the knife? Yeah. There we go. It's like a sort of bread knife. It's number eight, I think. Number eight. This one. At the top. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And it's obviously fifty-two. <laughs> I mean, you could be right. No, no, I wasn't sure. There we go. So there we go. We've done that one. And I don't know what this reference is in the email. To if you were guarding with a salt account, contact yeah, Louise. I don't think that's that important. Okay, I just wanted it was a hint for something else. Mm. Well, we can find it. If anything comes up with salt in big capital letters, right? So how many we'll possibly got that. left? One, three, six, and seven. Mm. So this is about Google Maps. Uh, and yeah. There's a map on the back, and we've got multiple of this letter, haven't we? Oh yes, we've got four copies of this, but we we're pretty sure they're all identical. But if we come across any problems, right? I'm trying to find another copy of the letter right. so we can look at the map. Let's get rid of that. Hopefully. Okay, it's that time of day again. Abigail has sent her list of things to get today. Her mum is coming into town, so there's some admin on here that I wasn't expecting. Sorry, brackets. Okay, so I think we just probably need to go to all these places in order. Yeah. So are they all places is, that are on there. Tilly's is here. Yeah, and then Green Collective. Yeah, presumably. Yeah. So, so we're either going, yeah, probably along the roads. Um, farm store. Everything Japanese. Where's that here? Yeah. Uh, Di Paolo's fine food, which I imagine is, yeah. Um, Aret for Danish pastries. Uh, HDC. That's here. Which way would you go to there? Maybe I should have been going, not going along the roads. If we do it... Oh, yeah, that is confusing, is it? It's not a very obvious way to go to that. Let's start again. Let's just draw a line across like oh, that. Oh, arrête means stop in French. I don't know if that's important. Could be. Let me go to HDC somewhere yeah, or Yeah, HDC, then less common goods. Which is down here. I think it would be fun to come up with the names of these things. Um, K Hotel. Which is there. In Good Company. 
Kalina at Fox and Badger and Fox. Lots of foxes. And Mimi Chicken. Which is here. Hmm. Well, I would like to say that puzzle has clearly been solved now. If we d if we just join them up with straight lines. What do we get? What do we get? We get luckily we've got four versions of this, so we can try that again. <laughs> yes. So we have Jalees to JLZ to Green Collective. Yeah. Green Collective to Farm, farm store. store. Then to Everything Japanese. De Paolo's Fine Food. And then Arete, which maybe stop or maybe. And then it was HDC. HDC. Right? Less Common Goods. K Hotel. In Good Company. This is confusing, isn't it? Kalina and Fox. Badger and Fox. And then Mimi Chicken, which is. I'm not sure that's entirely helpful. No. And it's not a very efficient way of going around all of these places, I wouldn't say. Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe you're meant to go around them in an efficient way. It doesn't say you have to visit them in that order, does it? It says, do you know which route is going to be best? No judging, I'm still new. So maybe we're meant to find an efficient so route between So it says, them. so if you go backwards through the messages here, it says, no problem, I pulled it up on Google Maps. Do you know which route is going to be the best? No judging, I'm still new to New York. Y'all. Y'all. It says, uh, hi, Ben, I'm really sorry I've been slammed, so I haven't had time today. I've been run off my feet with the launch. There's definitely a right order there. And then we've got CD here. Ben, we've got BC. Are we doing them in alphabetical order? We're doing them in alphabetical order. Um. So luckily we've got <laughs> a third copy. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. So Arat right. to Badger and Fox to Kalina and Fox to De Paolo to Everything Japanese, ABCDEF. What else have we got? Farm store. Just goes off the right of the screen there. But farm store. Um, uh, ABC, the E, F, G, G, C, E, F, G, H, H, B, C, I, In Good Company, J, K, Less Common Goods. Um, so it looks like a two. I didn't actually and follow the what? street from here. This one doesn't actually go along the street. Oh, it does go along the street. Yeah. Well, it's a two and then I think it's an eight. I think it's 28. Yeah, maybe. What a strange way of linking them up. We think it's 28 and we think that knife is seven. number seven. Yeah. Yeah. 28. Fingers crossed. Yay! How satisfying when it's right. Okay. Yeah, it only took um, three attempts. <laughs> maybe that's why they gave us four copies. Maybe it's, they knew everyone oh, was going to. It's gonna... clearly why they gave us four copies. <laughs> and then okay. we've got Abigail at home. Rattling through it. Abigail at home. Just seems to much on the front, but Does on the it? back. Oh, yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? In this book, I will take you through six of our restaurant staples, learn how to cook each of these menus perfectly, and you can mix and match to create the ideal meal combination every time. That feels like it's going to be an important clue. Just add your favourites together to please every audience. Our teams at Abigail have worked tirelessly to bring these recipes from our restaurants directly to your kitchens. Enjoy them. Interesting. So we've got then a list of foods and wines to go with them. And then at the bottom, we have got... Her favourites. Her favourites. And she's writing it in the British way, again, even though she seems to be... It's, I'm very confused about what country she's It's very from. confusing, isn't it? But anyway, so the drink is mm -hmm. presumably... An American pale ale, which is number three. OK. Number three. Oh, it's a pairing, I see. Yeah. OK, so it's three. Mm -hmm. That also looks like a classic beef burger. It does look like a classic beef burger, so we think that's three again, right? Unless it's... Can it be anything else? No. And then we think that's probably a classic ice cream cone at the end, number six? Yes, yeah. And then it says at the top, just add your favourites together to please every audience. OK, so we're looking so, for 12. 12. And, and we had a knife on the front, yeah. which looked a lot like the first knife, I think. Yes, I agree. Knife number one. Come on down. So 12. What do we say? 12. Yeah. Exciting. Hooray! There we go. Another one bites the dust. 
So we've got the checks left, which we were confused account. about, and the bank account. I think... Let's take a hint on let's, those. Yeah, let's take a hint on the bank account first. OK, Okay. so let's put up the clue. There we go, there's okay. the clues for this thing. And this is... Um... Should we start with the bank statements or the checks? Oh, yeah, where's the bank statements? The Did bank I discard statements. That? Uh... So the bank statement here, we tried adding up these numbers and it didn't work. Yeah, we tried so... adding up the final numbers based on... Yeah, what we so felt were clue words. Bank so statement, bank clue, statement clue, one. clue one. I wonder why these words are blacked out. Yeah, we did that. They must be important. We thought so too. I don't think you removed someone if that's what you were thinking. I wasn't thinking that. I wasn't that. thinking that either. Um, I'll go on then. I think the blackout word should be add final reference number. We did that. Add final reference number. Oh, what, what do we have? But it says add number reference final. It doesn't add say add final num reference number. Number reference Final. But, but probably means add up the digits on the... It does, it clearly does. That's not fair. So they've put them in the wrong order. There's no reason to read add... this in any other order, is there? Add number reference final. Oh, you can interpret that both ways. If it was in the order, it just gave that on the clue. Add number reference If it was final. in the order, mm. add final reference number. Oh, I that would be much thing. more obvious. I would have selected the wrong text. If it was in the order, add final reference number, that would be more obvious. That anyway. would be more obvious. OK. Let's add this up. We've got 9 and 4 is 13 and 7 is 29, yeah? Yeah. So not, not 38, but 29. And then we think... Yes. OK. So we'd solved that, more or less. Sort of solved it. We well, had all the right ideas. Right, let's take a hint on the checks. We okay. had no idea what to do on yeah, the checks, Yeah, we haven't we? got a sausage Well, it's something here. to do with handwriting. We have discovered that other thing on the yeah. back. Yeah. Maybe we can have a quick look. Again, because we did see it says, says well, I've got good at forging. Maybe we just need to find. I'm getting so good at forging these, it's ah, hard to tell which is real. We need real. to find the one that is real. And it's the one without any other changed A's, I think, isn't it? Do you think? Yeah. I think it's this which one. Which would be. Must be the. The bottom one. Must be the bottom one because that hasn't got uh, any of the different A's. That's got a different A. And the top that's one's got a different A. And so that one. We think it's this one. Okay, so forty-seven because that's the check number in the top right. Ah, uh, should we try I guess, that? Definitely. Oh, I think you're right. Let's um, try it. And by elimination, it must be number three. Yeah. Forty-seven. And it does have a knife on it. Hey. There we go. We did it, and you can't see that. All right, there we go. So that's what appears. We're in the vault. We're in the vault. Fred mm. iPhone and voicemail to MP3. Let's try Fred. Fred. Oh, hello. Fred the pastry chef. Oh, dear Abigail, I'm writing to raise a formal grievance. I have, as of April, not been paid my salary for three months. That's bad. I would be grateful if you could let me know when I can meet to talk to you about my grievance. Good word, grievance, yeah. isn't it? I would like to be accompanied uh, at the meeting by two colleagues. Yours sincerely, Fred. Abigail, why have I got this? I know there's money. It's your accountant. We need to talk. There we go. Ooh, OK, so it was Fred. Uh, Possibly. But there's something else in the vault. Yes, let's have a look. There's a what else message is in the vault? as well. Ooh. Shall we see what it says? Yeah. If you're listening to this, I guess it means you cracked the code. We didn't all think you'd be able to do it, to be honest. I'm going to level with you. We wouldn't be here if you had just paid us all that like you said you would. I know you'll recognize my voice, but I do speak for everyone in the restaurant. It turns out that when you get together, we all had similar awful stories about how terrible you are. Well, there we go. Wow. I have to say, I'm not entirely sure that not paying your salary justifies stealing, I mean, anything, but certainly $170,000 does seem a Goodness lot. me. Maybe. Fred had a real, real yeah, vitriol did, there. He? Yeah, absolutely. He sounded really upset. It is annoying not to be paid, I can imagine, <laughs> yeah. but just still, that is excessive. That is quite a quiet response. Well, there we go. We solved it. We did it. Finally, I thought we weren't going to make that for a while, <laughs> I have to be honest. No, I had faith. I had faith. Just a, faith a couple of shuffling and one hint. Yes, That's there fine. we go. All right, well, there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please let us know by posting a comment. If you solved some stuff before mm. us, also do send a comment. Yeah, we do like to hear your thoughts, whether you solved it faster than us, whether you solved it at the same pace as us. Or perhaps there were things that we got that you didn't get. It's possible everyone solves differently. So let us know how you got on or how you might have solved it. Well, I enjoyed it anyway. And it was a good thing we had multiple copies of the map. Mm, that's like, true. <laughs> few attempts to solve. At least we didn't do it in indelible pen. <laughs> that's true. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, as I say. And if so, then why not check out some of our other videos? So mm. links might appear in the middle towards the end. Mm. Uh, but otherwise, join us. Uh, well, we're going to do some more of these, aren't we? Oh, some yeah. other more exit games. Yeah, some more exit games, maybe some unlock yeah. games, maybe some other new games. Perhaps if you've got something that you'd like to recommend to us, let us know.
Yeah, but until then, uh, it's all for me to say is goodbye. Goodbye. And goodbye from me. I'll Bye. see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>